Welcome to Kid Food Nation. We are making spaghetti bolognese today, or you are making, I guess. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make it. You'll get all your ingredients and then you set everything out beforehand. So I have a big pot to boil the spaghetti in. I have a big frying pan that I'm actually going to make the sauce in. I have a spoon for stirring and that's it. Oh, you will need a grater and a, a peeler for your vegetables. So I have a wonderful new person that you guys haven't met yet that you will. She's my camera lady and it's Shalon and she's going to read the instructions as we go through it. I want you to read completely through your recipe before you start. Make sure I've sent you all the ingredients and you're not short anything. And there's a little trick at the beginning of it that I hope you guys can figure it out. Okay, should we begin? Okay, first step. Put a large pot with the lid of water on the stove on high heat. Okay. In a large and deep frying pan or a Dutch oven on medium heat, add ground beef, onion, garlic, and Italian spice. So, because I know how much you guys love working with onions, I have put your onions and garlic together in a bag so that you do not have to cut up an onion. So I'm just going to break up my ground beef a little bit. Um, in the one recipe it said stir constantly, but I find you don't have to stir it constantly. You just want to make sure it does break down. So I have my onions and my garlic here. And I always like to add it to my meat because I find then you it flavors your meat as you're cooking it. And I need one tablespoon of Italian spice, which we will add if I can open the bag. <laughs> These guys all know me, so. So with this, you know that you don't need a knife. You can just level it off by running it through the bag so it comes out flat. And it really doesn't hurt if you wanted a little stronger tasting in their flavoring, you could add more. will take a while to cook. So while that is cooking, we are going to peel a carrot. I didn't want to spend more money to get more zucchini so I only have this little piece but I also have celery when you are making spaghetti bolognese you can put any vegetable you want you could add peppers you could add pumpkin squash what else can you think of <laughs> put it on the spot because all it is doing is making your sauce um, bulkier and better tasting, right? It's like when we did the zucchini brownies and the avocado brownies. It just added extra flavor to it. Remember to watch your fingers when you're grating. This is worse than knife cuts. And if you don't want to put the carrot in the spaghetti, then you have to eat it on the side. <laughs> mm. 
Now, don't panic if you don't have a grater. You can also just chop it nice and fine. You guys all know how to mince, like we did the strawberries. Just chop them up rather than um, grate them because I wasn't going to send everybody a grater too. So these last little pieces I'm just going to dice and slice up. I have to check to make sure I have the right burner on. <laughs> figure out why my bird is not getting hot. I'm even putting the leaves because that just adds really a lot of flavor to your sauce. If I was at home, I'd be eating this little piece of carrot that is and dicing it up. starting to cook. It does take a little while, but the biggest thing is, is you can't go play a video game in between because you do have to keep an eye, right? And in the meantime, your water in your pot should be boiling. Well, not yet, but it's. And you gotta wait till it's completely boiling. But as it cooks, it starts to break it. It's easier to get it broken down. And even if you don't like onions, the flavor of the onions will be good. Like it's not like you're eating a big onion on like an apple, right? The onions and the garlic will just add flavor to your meal. You want all your meat to be brown. Don't panic. It will turn. And don't turn up the heat because then it cooks too fast, right? Actually, I have a gas stove at home, so it's way, way easier to judge. You can turn it down faster. I boil things over at my mom's because <laughs> you don't turn it down quick enough, right? In the meantime, you can fill the sink full of water and wash your dishes. <laughs> they love doing that. <laughs> we could add our vegetables now that we've cut up or grated because it doesn't hurt them at all to uh, be in the frying pan and they will add the, start giving the meat flavor too, right? with a old Greek guy and he started all the recipes with carrots, onions, and celery. A whole bunch in a pot cooking first for the flavoring. All the soups were started that way. That was always the base of everything. Try to keep the stuff in the frying pan. getting there.
Now, I'm not cooking a spaghetti on the video, um, mainly because we don't have anybody to eat this. But once your water has come to a boil and you put your spaghetti in, do not put the lid back on. And watch it, and once it comes up to a boil again, once the spaghetti is in there, then turn the heat down a little bit and just let it simmer. I think the only way that you can tell if spaghetti is cooked is to taste it. So just grab give it a fork and get one piece on a fork, let it cool, and, and check, the, check the texture that way. This is where I miss you guys because we'd be telling jokes or doing something, right? Yay! We got a lull. Look at who came to visit. I was just saying this is where I miss the kids because they would tell jokes or something when we were waiting for it to cook. What you making? Spaghetti. Oh, you like spaghetti? Smells wonderful. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't sick, that none of you really have COVID, you're just being isolated. Stay home, be careful, so that you don't get sick and we can get you back here. We're getting close, huh? Make sure there's no red. Definitely don't want anybody sick because they ate your cooking, right? And good things take time, so. In the meantime, if you have any suggestions for next week, you're very welcome to phone in to the youth center and leave me a message or talk to me if I'm here, 403-742-5437. Uh, and let me know what you'd like to cook because I know next week we'll probably have to do it again like this. Getting close. See how it's all broken up into nice little pieces? You're not going to get a big chunk of meat. that if you like salt or pepper you can add it afterwards I'd rather have not too much but you always need a little bit to bring out the flavor that's what salt does it brings out the flavor now it's really cool. I think I'm good I don't see any red tomato and I've mixed yours together so you won't be taking yours out of the can you'll just be adding your one container of the tomatoes and the reason I did crushed and um, diced is so that you get the different textures because I could have put them on the other side See, 
See why you need a big frying pan? And you do want this to come so that it is boiling and then turn it down and just simmer it. And it says in the recipe that you simmer it with the lid ajar, so that would mean just not set right on. But I usually do mine without a lid. You may have to wipe the stove off if you do it without a lid. Okay, we're just gonna let it simmer. And that's all there is to it, guys. And then I got you some Parmesan cheese for when you dish it up. Now, if you don't have somebody to help you with the draining of the spaghetti, make sure that you just take out the spaghetti with a big spoon or something, like a slotted spoon or even uh, tongs, because be very careful handling boiling water. It will hurt you. And the worst burn is the steam. When you're lifting off the lid, make sure you turn the pot lid away from you so that the steam goes up first because that will burn you worse than the water will okay i think that's all i have so what else does it say on the recipe uh top with parmesan cheese which i will put in a little container for you and then enjoy and enjoy so hopefully you guys will be back soon and like I said, phone in suggestions on what you'd like to make next week, and I hope you're all feeling good. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.